14 scoops of peanut butter here so I can shred down for summer. He's a dirty boy. I'm trying to reduce the quantity of my meals since I'm cutting. <laughs> but I've, I've been drinking a beer, one or two beers, uh, pretty much every day. <laughs> Yeah, I'm on my cut, man. I'm just shredding down, dude. I'm just leaning right out. I'm just drying myself right out. Um, <laughs> so that hasn't, hasn't been going very well. But now we're gonna lock in. We're gonna lock in. Um, I'd like to lose like 10 pounds, maybe. I mean, this is like kind of the, heavy, the heaviest I've been, like 210 pounds plus. Um, I think somewhere down around 200 right now, I'd look like pretty ripped and good. I still look decent, but there's a little extra meat around the midsection of my arms, you know, and upper body, and everything just doesn't have as much definition. And summer's kind of coming, so it just makes sense to shred a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm just doing a bit too many cows, and the meals are a bit too big, so we're trying to drop it down a bit and just like be a little bit more portion aware. Um, so this is just granola with some banana cut up, pretty simple. And then I'm gonna chuck a little bit of peanut butter in here. Thing to note about peanut butter, this is some like fancy organic natural peanut butter. Um, pretty high in calories, so we're gonna um, just <laughs> just do a little scoop, so heaping, just a little, just a little peanut butter. Just, yeah, just my cut's going really good. Just gonna have a couple of little fourteen scoops of peanut butter here, so I can shred down for summer. Reduce the amount a little. That's, that's a reasonable amount. A little less than I normally do. Dialing back beer o'clock. Daily beer o'clock. You know, maybe it can only be beer o'clock one day a week, or two days a week, or three days a week, or five days, or seven days a week, whatever. <laughs> All right, meal one. Okay, meal two. Day. A few hours later. Wow, plot twist, today. Eh? Eat food every couple of hours. Uh, Little sandy sandarella, spinach, cheese, spicy capicoli or something, cukes, tomatoes, uh, mustard, some hot sauce. We got a little Coach Greg on the TV. What do you guys think about Coach Greg ripping and rambling on, getting all caught up in the drama? Fucking hell. This guy gets excited about a little fucking fitness drama, dude. We're just working out, bro. Take a chill pill, my brother. My brother. Okay, pre-workout meal, 5 p.m. Uh, we've got two packets of oatmeal, a banana sliced up into small little chunks, a puddle of mango, mango yogurt at the top there, and then we've got our natural peanut butter again. Pretty dense, pretty heavy meal, but I'm not going to be training until about two hours after I consume this, so I want to get a good amount of calories in, carbohydrates, fuel for the session so I can get an absolute murderous beasting in my booty. Got the janitor in here. Hey, it's late night, guys. Just at the gym. Yeah, made a bit of a mess, so you know we're just tidying her up. Yeah, he's he's a dirty boy. to chow down unfortunately i screwed up the audio in this clip and one of the other clips 
just a simple mistake on my end. But here's the sandwich. This is a pretty hefty heaving amount. Um, pretty intense, a good amount of calories. My thought process here is that I've tried to eat a smaller portion or a smaller amount of food after my sessions. And that's led to me just binging on something afterwards. So I was like, I'm gonna go pretty heavy with the meal, get a whole bunch of healthy whole foods and a good amount of protein, vegetables, carbohydrates, all the good stuff, and then not binge on anything afterwards. And it worked. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Peace.